Good morning, boys and girls. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad I get to be with you this morning and bring you God's word in our Bible lesson. Um, we're going to be learning about Hannah and Samuel this morning, and it's going to be found in Samuel chapters 1 through 3. Our big picture question that you can start thinking about is, is anyone or anything greater than God? Well, is there anyone or anything? No, that's right, because God is greater than anyone or anything. In fact, Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 6 tells us that no one is like you, Lord. You are great and your name is mighty in power. So God is greater than anyone or anything, and we're going to see that this week and the coming weeks. Um, before we get started, I wanted to play a little game. I'm going to play a sound for you, an animal sound, and I'm going to see if you can recognize the voice and tell me which animal it is. Okay, so let's start. Can you recognize the voice? That is an elephant. Okay, let's do another one. This one right here. You can sit down. Can you recognize the sound? That is a peacock. A peacock. Okay, let's do another one. Can you recognize the voice? It is a zebra. Okay, press the zebra. Good job. That is the sound of a zebra. And we're going to do one more. Right there. Zebra. Whoa. Whoa. Can you recognize the sound? Which animal is that? That's a lion. What is it? A lion. That's right. What does the lion sound like? Whoa. That's right. Whoa. And so we can recognize the sounds that these animals make and Wait, we can what say what animal it is. Here, you can sit down with this. So in the same way that we recognize the animal voices, we can recognize God's voice. And we're going to hear that today about Samuel. Samuel's going to recognize God's voice. Our lesson today is about Hannah and Samuel, and it is all in the book of Samuel, chapters 1 through 3. So let's start with Hannah. The Bible tells us this story. Hannah, a woman who loved God, went to the temple to pray. Thank you, she said, for all that you have given me. For my home and my dear husband, you know I lack only one thing to be completely happy. Please, dear Father up in heaven, send a baby boy for me to hold and love. Hannah felt sad that she had no children and big teardrops ran down her face. Eli, the priest of the temple, watched as Hannah prayed. He knew she felt sad and he wanted to make her feel better. Go in peace, he said to Hannah. May God grant you what you have asked of him. Then Hannah knew that all was well, and in her heart she felt joy. At last, dear God had heard her prayer for her precious baby boy. Later that year, Hannah and her husband had a little baby boy, and they named him Samuel. Samuel, Hannah said, you are a blessing to us, and I have promised you to God for all the days of your life. Soon you'll live with Eli and learn a prophet's special ways and how to serve the living God for all your many days. Hannah and her husband loved Samuel. They were a happy family. They taught him that he was God's answer to Hannah's prayer. When the time was right, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. Eli saw them coming and met them on the steps. Eli, said Hannah, this is the child God gave to me in answer to my prayer and now I give him back to God. Keep him safe within your care. Welcome, Samuel, said Eli. I am glad you have come to be my helper. There are many chores to do here in the temple. Every year, Hannah and her husband came to the temple to worship God. Every year, Hannah brought Samuel a new coat she had made for him. 
You are growing straight and strong, she said to Samuel. You are learning right from wrong. You are a blessing to Eli and to your father and me. Someday soon, you will be a blessing to all of God's people. Samuel said, Mother, I have many things to do here in the temple. Eli needs me to teach, and he is teaching me how to serve the Lord. He teaches me God's word, he teaches me to pray, and I often dust the temple urns and open up the doors, and daily I am busy sweeping the temple floors. One night when Samuel went to his room, he could see the moon shining through the window. He was very tired because he had worked hard that day. He had polished the candlesticks, run errands. He had welcomed people who had come to see Eli. He had listened to Eli and the stories he had to tell. He had listened to Eli and learned the lessons well. Samuel folded his clothes and smoothed out the wrinkles. He said his prayers, climbed into bed, and fell asleep. Samuel had been sleeping only for a little while when he was awakened by a voice calling. Samuel, Samuel, it must be Eli calling me, he thought. I must hurry to see what he wants. But Eli had not called him. He too was fast asleep. Go back to bed, said Eli. Go back to bed and lie down. Three times Samuel rushed to Eli's room and he thought, hmm, this is odd, until it dawned upon him. The person calling Samuel was God. Samuel said to, Samuel said Eli, the next time that voice calls, answer. Speak, Lord, for the servant is listening to you. When Samuel told Eli God's words, Eli said, let the Lord do as he thinks is best. As Samuel grew older, God spoke to him many times. Samuel would talk with the people and encourage them to live close to God and obey his commands. Often they did not listen and forgot to say their prayers and praise God. Later, they even built idols to worship. This made God and Eli and Samuel very sad. Eli died when he was 98 years old, but he was trained, he had trained Samuel well for the prophet's role. Years later, the people asked Samuel to pray for them, that God would deliver them from the hands of the wicked Philistine. God heard Samuel's prayer, and as long as he lived and judged Israel, the Philistines did not return. Hannah, her husband, Eli, they all helped Samuel grow to become a true man of God. God called Samuel to do great things, and he had a special purpose for Samuel. And I want each one of you to know that God will call you to do great things also, and he has a special purpose for you. Before we go, I want to say a prayer together. Um, Hannah, when God heard her when she prayed, and just like that, God hears us when we pray. He has a plan for each one of us, and he always keeps his promises. So let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your answered prayers from Hannah and from us. Thank you for Jesus, and we love you, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I hope you'll have a great week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.